Good morning, dear battery lovers. Uh, some of you like my really long buy next repair video, and I might start to more stuff like that. Uh, today is all about Bosch. In here, we have four different rear carrier Bosch batteries. Uh, the model name is this long number that looks like an IP address. First, I thought this was uh, the model name, but no, that's the zip code for the Bosch address for the Bosch address in Germany. So D seventy two seventy three is a zip code, but this is the uh, model number, and I think uh, the one underneath is the serial code. And you can probably scan them. This is the three hundred Bosch. Um, embossed and this is a 300 watt hour battery pack it's really old don't know how old it's uh, 8.2 amp hours and made in Poland it's the oldest um, Bosch case we have we have opened it uh, up it also has a rubber list in here we will open all of them up yeah the biggest uh, thing about this old battery case is that they have this uh, wide 5 pin connector so they are not compatible with other ones. Here are three different ones. You can tell that they have the same case. This one is gray on the top. Bosch offers uh, custom colors and custom uh, like stickers and so. But here is, I believe, the oldest one of this bunch. It's ending with 514. It's also made in Poland, 11 amp hours. Then we go to the next one. It ends with 522. It's also 11 amp hours and made in Poland. Then we have the last one, it's called 532, and it's 13.4 amp hours and made in Poland. So I don't know what separates these, these ones seem uh, identical, except for the color over here. Same capacity and made in Poland. They also made some battery packs in French, but probably not this version. Uh, all of these battery packs are stone dead. Uh, but I will try and repair at least one of them today. We're gonna start with this old... Uh, old yeller which we have removed all the screws I think yes so like that in um, the older version the 300 watt hour pack they are using flat cables so we do not accept them for repair anything with this connector usually has flat cables and you can see f the code 502 we will not accept that for repair because these have spot welded tabs I don't know how they spot well them when they just have one spot and they can't do these two at the same time because they're different voltages so I don't know how they spot well these. It's not possible to remove it without damaging them and there are also all the smart function Bosch is famous for so you can't replace the BMS either. Um, so this one we will just lay on the side you can see it has LG cells ME1. Uh, in 4P. Let's go to the next one, the one I think is oldest because it has the lowest number, 514. Yes, and it has 10 screws, one of which has some kind of plastic on it to prevent you from, not preventing you from opening it, but they can definitely tell if you had tried opening it. So don't open it, you will most likely damage the screws. And they are different length, these four ones are longer. And uh oh, there is water damage in this battery pack. So I don't think we will be repairing this one. Oh, look at all the rust. Yikes. Yes, even Bosch battery packs, Shimano battery packs and high-end stuff like that can get water in them, but usually it takes quite a lot. It takes quite a lot to get water in a Bosch battery, but it's not impossible. So don't, don't, don't try that. Don't try that. Uh, the warranty will not cover, cover, probably not. I'm not 100% sure. They don't have any prongs, but they had some silicone. Oh, there is some PF. Hello, little cells. Yeah. Oh. 
So, um, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Bosch has their BMS down in the bottom, so all the water will come down here and have a pool party. Uh, some other battery manufacturers place the BMS upside down in the top, like a bat cave. Jesus. Um, that might damage the cell, but prevent the BMS, and this will not be refurbished. Uh, I'm thinking about getting an ultrasonic cleaner um, and I will have this type of boards and try and clean them up and see how pretty they can get. We will never get this working again because every single component is bye-bye. Uh, but anyway, here you can see they're using wires. I repaired a couple of them. They're complicated. Uh, for once, the screw holes go just beneath the cells. So you have to align it perfectly. So you have to use the original holders as well. That's one thing, and they have pretty good uh, snapping plastic. And um, they twist the battery pack like this, like this, and like this. They use what I call the Promovec config, because Promovec was first um, with this config, and they had added these two cell groups together and these two cell groups together. I don't think Bosch copied them. There's the, it's one of very few actual designs. You can have it 40 cells. So I bought another 514 and 532. I think 514 is for 400 watt hours. And 532 is for 500 watt hours. Uh, but that's my guess. Don't really know. Bosch have probably have the same kind of uh, number system for all their products. That's why it's so long. looking for is a battery pack with good cells and a battery pack with bad cells that has a good BMS. Then we can just do a switcheroo and make a whole new battery pack. Yes, a severely damaged BMS. You can also see that might be coming from this exact cell, the same as in the GA battery pack. So we won't be using this one either. Let's check the voltage of the cells. This is 1.6 volts, so there's no reason going after the cells. The BMS is fried. It, we will sell it for spare parts. So, hope this is our good luck battery with no water damage. Yeah, I've already pushed all those buttons and tested the charger. And yes, we also have GA in here. Here. Yes, upside down. We can lift them up and here we actually have a pretty good chance of repairing it. I can see no water damage. This cell is intact. Um, yes, we will probably use this. Uh, so we will do another video with the actual taking apart and repair. It's 8.6, so we can also save these little GA cells. <laughs> 